This is South Georgia Farming. Uh, this is uh, April the 23rd. I'm not sure whose farm this is. I thought it was being farmed by Green Circles Farm, but I don't think this is their tractor because it has the front duels on uh, while mold board plowing, and they take their front duels off. So I'm not really sure whose tractor this is just yet. Uh, but they're uh, out here mold board plowing a a very large field uh, for our area. Now this field is a 1.1 miles long and probably a good, pretty close to half a mile wide. It's not a perfect rectangle, but it's pretty close. And this is probably gonna be the only video I shoot of this field and this tractor because it takes him forever to make a to come back to this end of the field it's about 35 minutes to make a round trip and plus this field is what you call new ground uh, this field was in pine trees uh, up until two years ago hurricane michael uh, really tore this particular site up and instead of planting it back in pine trees they clear cut the property and had it cleared afterwards and turned it into ag production. But this is the first time I, I believe this field has ever been mold board plowed and since it was in trees they have a lot of hidden stumps and roots and they've got them marked out here in the field after he makes his pass and gets turns around i'll zoom out i can count probably 30 flags that they've put out where they've got to come back and either mark them with a gps or they're going to come out with the uh a backhoe or something and dig these stumps out. No matter how good a job your contractor does on clearing this ground, you're going to find some little pieces that break off underground that are enough to trip these mold board plows. And he's having to stop. Uh, just on this pass, I think he stopped four times that I've counted to uh, mark a stump. That makes for a long day, I know that. Well, I know it's not Glen Hurd Farms. They don't use John Deere GPS. They use Trimble. Could possibly be Scott Farms, I don't know. And that's probably who this is. And this is an 8320R with a six bottom plow. This might not even be Scott Farm. They normally mold board with a 320, but they normally got a eight bottom or a seven bottom. I really don't know. I'll just leave it at it's a, it's a farm doing new ground.
And just like that, he's tripped the bottom. Or at least he thought he did. Oh yeah, he got a stump. It's probably why he's running only a six bottom plow behind an 8320 as this ground is so hard from never being bottom plow. He marks the stump, goes back at it. Somebody's going to have a fun time going out there and get finding all those stumps and digging them up there. And these plows don't have automatic resetting shanks. You have to uh, lift them up and back up just a little bit, usually to get them to, to reset. But that's a whole lot better than a shear pin. But I'm going to kind of zoom out a little bit and it's hard for me to tell what you can actually see on this viewfinder, but but I know there's a stump right there. There's another one on further out. There's one there. And if you look, you can see the roots and stuff he's kicked up. There's one. Just tripped another one. I didn't even, didn't have to see it. I heard it. There's some more out there. Somebody's going to have to come back and dig all those up. Well, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out some of the videos on YouTube under South Georgia Farming. Thanks for watching.